Imagine a brand new piece of technology that puts a computer in your lap. Well, it's here and it's called a laptop. It has all the modern parts and it frees you from your desk. It has a great screen and keyboard for, for powerful, powerful computing on the go. Yes, it's 2015, and this year's cutting edge piece of technology, it's called a laptop. This 30 year old form factor is still the future. Even Microsoft finally decided to make one, but it's not so simple. You see, the Surface Book is also a tablet, and the new Surface Pro 4 tablet is also billed as a laptop. I know, it makes your brain hurt, but pay attention because these really do give us a glimpse at the future where our devices collide. Look, you will either love or hate the Surface Book's design, especially the bendy straw-like hinge. Me, I love it. And no, random things don't get stuck in the gap. My main complaints, the laptop is chunky and the lid is just too hard to get open. Once you get it open though, you're in laptop heaven. The pixel pack screen is beautiful. The keyboard is very comfortable. And most of the time, the glass trackpad works great. Periodically though, the cursor does get stuck. Everything was going amazing. I was almost ready to call the Surface Book the perfect Windows laptop. Until one night, um, did Windows just completely stop working? Do I really need to reinstall the whole thing? One Surface Book and one Surface Pro 4 I tested just refused to boot up again, and others had persistent software issues. Microsoft says that this has been addressed at the factory and customers won't experience it. If Microsoft fixes those issues, the book could be the near perfect Windows laptop. As a tablet though, it still has some other problems. There's some noticeable wobble in the screen because when you press this key, the whole thing comes off. Holding a 1.6 pound tablet like this is kind of awkward, but holding it like this, it's pretty comfortable. The included pen is smoother and quieter to write with than the older Surface pens, though a slight delay keeps it from matching the experience of writing on paper. Then again, you can't do this with paper. Speaking of faces, you can now use yours to log into the computer. Take that long passwords. Inside the tablet are the guts of a laptop. My $1,500 base unit has everything but a big battery, and that's a big problem. In tablet mode, I got an embarrassing 2.5 hours on my test. Luckily, the keyboard base has an extended battery that got me an impressive 10 hours. The Surface Pro 4 tablet lasted 5.5 hours. Worse, the Pro doesn't have a battery in its keyboard dock, although the keys and trackpad are improved. Still, if I was laptop shopping in the $1,000 range, I'd pick the Dell XPS 13 over the Pro 4. But if money's no object and Microsoft fixes those issues I experienced, I'd say the Surface Book is the best Windows laptop I've ever used. No, it's not the best tablet, at least not yet. But at some point soon, we won't think of our tablets as anything but the top halves of our laptop because it sits in your lap.